Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time for us to get into another music reaction. So guys, we got a new artist to the channel here. This is Corrosion of Conformity. The song is Albatross. This is going to be a request for two people. This is for uh, Phil Ragu and for Bob W9667. So um, yeah, I'm excited for this. I, I know who Corrosion of Conformity is. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, when people still used to go to CD stores, I would see the album cover for the album that this song's off of. Uh, it said it was called Deliverance. I'd see that in CD stores all the time. Uh, but I never checked them out. You know, I, I did hear uh, the song Clean My Wounds from this album because it was on the radio a ton back then. And that was a cool song, man. That was a banger. Uh, so, yeah, just for anyone who is not familiar with them, uh, they're an American heavy metal band from Raleigh, North Carolina, formed in 1982. So um, I did take a look at the lyrics on this one and just my gist of it uh, and the song title being called Albatross as well. Um, Albatross is usually like a, a sign of, you know, bad luck or something that weighs you down, like the saying, uh, the albatross around my neck. Well, um, the song seems to be just about uh, the, the bad luck is himself, you know, is, is what he's saying. And at one point he even says, I am the albatross. So, um, and, and kind of like a self-reflection kind of thing, like, yeah, I've, I've screwed up in my life and what can I do? You know, I, I am the cause of that bad luck. I am the albatross. Uh, if anyone has any other, uh, insights into that, let me know, but I think we're going to go ahead and jump into this. It is a Vivo video, so I'm sorry in advance if it gets blocked for visual content, if I have to do any editing over the uh, little videos box. So here we go. Corrosion of conformity, albatross. Already sounds like a jam. All right, this is even very southern infused. Very slowly well, you used. I got stuff to say. Look at that guy getting, getting down back there. Okay, hold on. Let me just do a little commentary stop here. It sounds like we're entering a bridge or a new phase of the song. Um, I just want to get some of my thoughts out there before I forget some of these. Uh, this one is pretty different from uh, Clean My Wounds. And uh, I think it's off that same album. Uh, you know, I'm not quite sure, but uh, I, th I think it is. Let me just see. Frozen recording, let's track list. Let's see. Um... 
It is. It's on the same album. But the reason why I wanted to bring that up is because it sounds so different than um, Clean My Wounds. Clean My Wounds was more uh, of a, a straightforward kind of more structured banger of a, a rock song. And um, this one in that song didn't really have any real like Southern leanings. And this one has, is like uh, deep fried Southern rock and roll mixed in here with a little bit of a uh, man. It kind of seems like it has some of the, the effects and settings you would use for, for grunge kind of uh, at the time. But yeah, th this sounds great, man. This, this song flows. Um, the vocals are flowing nicely over that. The mixing is pretty damn good for 1994, I think it was. So uh, yeah, catchy song. Uh, I'm enjoying this pretty thoroughly, man. Let's keep going. We're almost like an acid rock kind of distortion. The distortion changed. That the quality of the audio on that lead guitar. It's like the trebles turned down, the mids are boosted. Sounds great. Little stutter on the drums. I love that stutter part they do there. That could have gone longer. Went with a solo guitar solo fade out. Oh man, that kicked ass. That was awesome. That was a jam session of a song. Gross of conformity, albatross. Hell yeah. Um, man, you know this one. Uh, I'm trying to find a good shot to stop on here. That looks pretty good. Um, this one. My my initial thoughts on this is that um, uh, it's it's a it's a jam session song and southern rock infused and that's kind of shocking to me just because the one song I heard wasn't this uh, southern influenced uh, which again was uh, clean my wounds this was excellent man this one was uh, I think I mentioned this during while the song was playing but uh, kind of like an acid rock kind of quality too. Uh, to the to the song and the way it flows uh, a little bit of blues in there as well, man This was excellent and I just you know since I never delved into these guys I I don't quite even after hearing this who knows what else they're capable of but I didn't think they were capable of this So um, oh, I got a bug in here uh, But yeah, that was uh, that was quite different than clean my wounds unexpected and awesome This one really jammed man this one uh, catchy too and um I like the way that the, the mixing was done for the uh, lead guitar as well. Uh, like I said, it sounded like the treble was kind of turned down and the mids were boosted. It just sounds so crunchy and, and, and juicy and awesome. Um, also that part on the where the bridge started and the, the solo starts up, they added some more distortion or something on the rhythm guitar and uh, kind of boosted everything a bit, made the volume go up. Yeah. 
Yeah. Or what it is, is I think they started playing power chords there. And prior to that, they were just kind of using one note, you know? Yeah, they were just playing one note on the guitar, not using any chords yet. That's why it sounds so beefed up on that part, because they started actually playing chords. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, yeah, this was a killer song. Um, man, I, I, you know, I know this was 94, but uh, I, I can't wait to see what this sounds like in my car, too. I got a pretty decent uh, sound system in there. Man, I bet this sounds great in the car. Um, yeah, this song kicked ass. And uh, the, again, just to circle back on the message here uh, in the lyrics. Yeah, I feel pretty confident I got that right. Um, just self-reflection like yeah I've effed up you know I've made mistakes but uh, I can't blame anyone else if there's anyone to blame it's me I am my my bad I make my bad luck is uh, kind of the gist I'm getting um, anyway yeah I uh, this song jams you know it's pretty straightforward uh, good old rock and roll man this is what this sounds like to me uh, and I'd like to hear more too you know I, I can't believe uh, you know this is one of the bands that I just kind of completely glossed over. I mentioned I saw their uh, album in the CD stores and, you know, I only ever knew Clean My Wounds, but um, I guess maybe at the time I was I was uh, really into a different kind of rock and roll at the time, so um, maybe that's what it was. But I did always like Clean My Wounds when I heard it on the radio. Anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap this up, but uh, if you're still here, thanks for taking the time out of your day to uh, enjoy some good music with me and rock out with me. If you have any other songs from Corrosion or any other uh, band you want me to check out, please let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.